Hey, 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 y'all. What is going on? Welcome to my channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my J -J Gemini. My lovely Gemini. And my beautiful collective. What is going on, y'all? I hope everybody's doing well. Sending love, light, healing energy as always to each and every one of you. And um, thank you for being here. Thank you for your support, your love, your likes. I ask and my request is as you come in, please hit that thumbs up button. That helps us get into the algorithm. That helps us grow, okay, as a family. So I appreciate all the support, all the things that you do for the channel, and the love you give, the comments, the beautiful everything, Gemini, okay? Keep in mind, this is a general message. It's not going to resonate with everybody, somebody, nobody, honey. We don't know. Take the energy that resonates and leave the rest. Um, keep in mind, energy is fluid, past, present, future. He, she, them, they. You take it and flip it how you need it, okay? Um, and yeah, smack it up, rub it, and flip it. <laughs> Did I say it backwards? But anyway, um, what was I going to say? I'm all get scatterbrained because my mind is running, you guys. It's running fast. Um... Take the energy that fits and leave the rest. Please don't force these readings to fit, okay? It's just supposed to be confirmation of the things you already intuitively know or suspect, okay? So sometimes you might have to hear the reading over and over and over again, okay? That we're just, we're creatures by a repetitive nature, okay? You do things over and over again. That's how we learn. Choir, come to the front. Come to the front. <clears throat> One, two, three, oh, T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective, T-Girl, 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 Magic and Collective, T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective, check the sound and see what we're about, ooh, ooh, we are Gemini, 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 we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 Okay, I saved the last download for uh the best for last, y'all. This is going to be a juicy one. So Spirit's leading me. Mm, I kind of don't want to use them, but I'm going to use the tea. Okay, the download. Hold on, let me get the cards together, and then I'm going to give you the download. I had to write it down, okay? And it is deep. So I believe Spirit, everything Spirit say, okay? Because I've talked to the Most High, and our ancestors are the highest white light, pure love. And they don't never lie or lead things astray, okay? So you got to have faith and you got to trust your intuition as well. So, um, okay, the download that I did get, I want to make sure they're not, you know, scrambled all upside down and everywhere. Let me do one more shuffle, okay? Just to get, but the download again is, um, okay, I got to shuffle because I have me all my full attention to give this. Oh, Lord, and somebody is unchanged, honey, okay? Just want you to know. Okay, one more spirit said. Get a good shuffle in with the T. Somebody is strategizing, baby, and they have not changed. Just to let you know. So you could currently be being, being with this person, dating this person, however this goes, okay? You're involved in this person somehow, some way. Okay, oh my God. Wouldn't get far, wouldn't get far. It was just a waste of time. I don't know who that's. Who's that song? Lupe Fiasco. It wouldn't get far. Mm -mm -mm, uh, mm -mm, uh, uh, uh. Y'all, some put that in the comments. Who is that? You wouldn't get far. Uh, 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 uh. It was just a waste of time. So that means something somehow. Okay, let me do this card deck already. I shuffled it, but I want to do it extra. Okay, because y'all know how y'all like to shuffle. And I don't think I shuffle as much as I should or could. Because I just be in the spirit channeling, honey. They just... The shuffle is for y'all. Okay, the uh, non-believers. <laughs> okay, for real. The non-believers that need to heal. That shuffle is for you. Could be for an Aquarius. But there's Aquarius that looks at you wish fulfillment. I don't know if this is about an Aquarius. Child, is this about an Aquarius? 
somebody that you, oh no, Gemini, this could be somebody you see as wish fulfillment. They spying on you. They're looking at you. You could have your own platform where you could be a healer. You know, you could be an alchemi alchemist, an alchemizer. You got a food pile. You look cute. Okay, nothing wrong with a food pile. I'm just saying it's part of life and a part of nature. You could have had kids, whatever. If you didn't have kids, you got a cute little food pile, cute little shape. Everything's balanced and light. Okay, so you're a real you're a real woman or a real man. No tummy tucks over here and no pun intended for those that did have one. But you are authentic. You love on your whole self. And that's a beautiful thing. A lot of, no offense, some people can't even do that. They always like to look at their flaws and try to fix them and stop, instead of fixing the inside. Fix the, they want to fix the outside and the inside's all fucked up. But whoever you are, Baby, y'all heard you're perfect. Ooh, okay. Or somebody think you perfect. An Aquarius think you perfect. Or you think an Aquarius is perfect. But somebody is starry-eyed. And, oh my gosh, Gemini. Somebody is really like, you are the bomb.com. Because of how you show up in the world. And how you love yourself. You're very balanced. You balanced out people. You possibly teach self-love. Whoever you are, if you're a healer. Okay, you're all about that self-love and somebody's spying on you. And the more that they look at you or watch you, child, the more falling, the more in love that they they get. Okay? But whoever you whoever this energy is, they are a risk taker and they are in a king of wands energy, and they could possibly be ill or sick or something. Listen. The download had to write this down now. It says, let me get my glasses. Where's my glasses? My glasses. <laughs> That's when my friend Alicia used to tease each other. We anyway, it's a little inside joke. Okay. A prostitute or person from the streets. Okay, this is what it is. The download is a prostitute or a person for... Now, this is triggered maybe for some of y'all, but we, you, those that watch my channel, you're already used to me, so I shouldn't have to explain all of this extra stuff because you already know i'm a risk taker i tell the truth i'm led by ancestors to tell the truth tell the truth take the risk let them know okay because you're a healer you got to heal so so you got to give the absolute sometimes hard truth okay or hard in or a hard energy okay difficult that people want to taper sometimes because they're busy people pleasing and not pleasing spirit and healing people Okay, whatever. Not saying everybody's not, you know, whatever. But anyway, I'm not going off on anybody and I don't know. This is not for anybody. But I'm just saying. Attention all earth, earth angels and star seeds. Your job is to take that risk, that leap of faith, and to take action and heal people. No matter how hard it is. Okay, to bang, balance it out. Okay, that's the only way you're going to get healing is balance. Tell the truth. Let the chips fall where they may. But anyway... A prostitute or person for the streets messed around and fell in love with you. Ooh, Gemini, wait a minute. High vibe, cross watcher. This is all zodiac signs, so it doesn't matter. You could be any zodiac sign. There is somebody who messed around and fell in love with you. Now, honestly, um, you haven't had any relations with this person. So you have not mixed fluids and juices. You haven't taken that leap of faith. And splashed in they pond. You, I'm sorry, you haven't splashed in they pond yet, Gemini. You haven't. But this person, whoever they are, they want to splash in your pond. And it's a prostitute now, okay? I got to tell you what that is. It is. Um, you guys just have had small talk, possibly. You know, just spending time getting to know each other. You know, nothing big. Having deep conversations that turned into love. So something happened... When they or you pulled away. So you could have pulled away, Gemini. I don't know. Somebody's feelings were getting intense. It could be you pulled away or the prostitute pulled away. Okay. It says, um, oh, that's all I put, put spirit? Yeah. Okay. So I guess this thing is this, there's a prostitute that's in love with you. You are a star. They want to take a leap of faith with you, Gemini. Okay. They want to lock you down. My question, okay, let's get into spirit. Tell us more about this uh, two, this two, two, okay? Tell us more about the two, two. Ooh, this two, two is angry because you walked away. 
So you you you're the one who pulled back from this offer offer. Maybe they offered you to, you to take a leap of faith, and then you walked away. This could take this however it resonates. Or Gemini, they thought you was a prostitute. Okay, take it how it go. Okay, because the thing is, there's a prostitute that is for the streets. So Gemini, are you for the streets, or you fell in love with somebody that's for the streets, or somebody that's for the streets, or is reflecting and deflecting on you? I don't know, Gemini. What's going on, Spirit? Because it, it's going to resonate. Look, you could be the prostitute or they could be. Okay? What's going on, Holy Spirit? The highest ancestors. Somebody is literally um, going through a depression with the hermit in reverse, but they're also reflecting deep within. They're going through a healing transformation at this time. They could be in a King of Wands energy, fire sign, and they want to make an offer towards you. They want to take a leap of faith and risk it all damn and they're very quick with it too they want to come rushing in or just before they came rushing in to make this offer you walked away and this person is secretly burdened and weighed down they have an anxiety they can't sleep at night gemini you you didn't even that's the truth honey and you had you have not even had any relations with this person at all and this is how they feel about you Okay, they feel heavily burdened down with this Ten of Wands, this King of Wands does. They're stressed out. They have anxiety. They can't sleep at night. They're having panic attacks and heart palpitations and everything, Gemini, because you cut their ass off abruptly. All right, it was abruptly. Maybe you was listening to ancestors and you had to go within because you're going through healing as well. And you listen to the ancestors, so I feel like if you walked away, it wasn't like you wanted to walk away. It felt like you were led by your calling or your spirit or your life purpose to be in hermit mode. You, This king of wands is possibly, I don't know, tell me about this king of wands. You, had, you blocked them. You did. Maybe they were coming at you very passionately, Gemini. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, this is the emperor. Oh, he wanted to marry. Oh, damn. He wanted. So is this emperor? The spirit said yes. Oh, my God. This is horrible. So this emperor spirit just told me this fire sign, king of wands, this person that takes action, this emperor energy, business owner, CEO, entrepreneur, whoever, they are the hoe. So Gemini a prostitute or the person or a person for the streets fell in love with you so this could be the person for the streets this is the person for the streets and you have not had relations with this person yet gemini you have not had relations to this person you better be glad this person is losing their mind over your ass i don't know if you got with a little i heard a little cuckoo what is going on y'all you better be glad you didn't take this person look oh he oh what? Somebody is unstabilized because you walked away, Gemini. You you blocked them or something like that because you felt they had a family. Mm, and you ended something with this person. And they are like, hell no, you ain't leaving me. Like, you, who, where are you going? Gemini, Queen of Swords. Somebody want to know where the hell the Queen of Swords is going. What you ending? What you doing? And they're drinking heavily. This could be a heavy drinker. They're all in their head in prison. They feel like they have so much love for you. Girls and boys, look. You possibly got somebody in your energy. I don't know who the hell this is. But they a little, a lot of, a little, a lot of off. Okay, they, oh my God. You're saying that's the truth. Don't be denying that. They off. They a little cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. Child, look at them. Over because you left, Gemini? What the fuck? Gem Ooh, Gemini, you left them out in the cold? I don't know. They could. I don't know, sweetheart. And they are mentally entrapped and crying and upset and everything. Child, they want to travel to you. They could be traveling to you or driving past your house or something. They thought you was the one. You was the bees in the knees. Like you were the honey. Okay, the honeycomb, the honey dip, the honey drop. And you left. And you haven't even had... So what was it about Gemini that this person fell in love with, though? If y'all didn't... It was your mind, baby. You're an air sign. Air signs are very cerebral, very intelligent, 
very smart, uh, very communicative, the way you communicate. I don't know. It's something about the way you are, the way you communicate, the way you move. They fell in love with all of that because you have to understand this person is very sexually promiscuous and they, they're with a lot of bodies and a lot of energy. Something about your energy, though, was healing. And they don't get that from a lot of people because whoever they are with, they're just like them. They have a lot of bodies. So when you get that pure energy, it's like a shocker. It's like effervescence. I want to take a leap of faith of relief. And that's the truth. So you started getting downloads about this person being a risk taker. You're like, wait a minute. I think you for the, I don't know. How does Gemini feel about this person though? I don't know, Gemini. Gemini, you want to work on it with somebody? Okay, I ain't mad at you. You want to balance something out with somebody? Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just people need to come together and be honest with each other and heal. Yeah, be honest that both of y'all want to give an equal give and take, okay? No judgment just because you are what you used to be. Because how is this person going to be moving when if they decide to get... Or if Gemini decides to get with them, how are they still going to be in that King of Wands whole like energy? No, something about your ass, bitch. You balance them out. Some of them could be, um, they could be on the LGBTQIA community. Okay. They could be that. But something about you balancing them out. And like I said, there's nothing wrong. Love is love, but you need to make the commitment and be structured and disciplined with the one who you are with. And I don't care if they do give you permission to go open up the relationship to be with other people. That's not a, com that's no, it's a fuck no. Like that don't even make sense. You sound fucking crazy. Okay. Your job is to master self, self mastery, mental. Okay. I think I posted a video about stop coming. C-U-M-M-I-N-G or C-U-M-I-N-G or whatever, because you're giving your sexual energy away. You're depleting it. That energy is for you to create. Y'all need to go look at that video that I posted in the community board. Stop coming. Because you're giving away your power, your sexual power, when you when you ejaculate or whatever you do. Whenever you do, however you do. Okay? Orgasm and ejaculations is two different energies. You need to learn sexual energy and how that works as well. The human body, the energetic frequencies around it, it's just phenomenal, amazing. You guys need to look into that. Go look within and do some research on that shit. Because having sex and just masturbating and just jacking off, it ain't just that. It's not just that. You're an energetic, angelic being having a physical experience. A lot of y'all don't even know your physical laws, let alone your spiritual laws. But the spiritual laws govern the physical laws. Make it make, like, come on now, stop. Those that know, you know. Those that you don't, I don't know what to tell you. Okay? Go within. Go within. Thank you. Um, Because the magic is on all of us. Okay? And so you got to learn how to balance out and transmute that energy. So, I don't know, Gemini, whoever that is in your energy that is on the down low, okay, whatever, that's not a big deal. We're not going off of that. But we need this person to come together and balance themselves out and transmute that lower vibrational energy, okay, into their upper chakras with this fool card and trust God and communicate with the ancestors and the angelic, angelic realm more, okay, so they can balance out where they want to do and who they want to be, in a sense, and stop being for the streets and all over the place, just spreading their sexual energy just everywhere. That's why they haven't gone that far in life. There's, they are still a page in spirit. Okay, they could be having money losses right now for some of y'all, and they need you to heal or they want your healing so they can balance out their money. But something, because the cycle is closing for this person, and they're going through a tower. Gemini, this is you. Okay, so how does what's going on? What happened? What's what's this what's this person going through, Spirit? They're going through a tower. Yeah, their emotions. This person, I don't know if they were honest with their emotions or they're trying to hide something in secret, hide their emotions. But no, bring that shit to the front. It's time to heal. Somebody does not want something to come out, but it has to come out. That's who you are. Okay. That's keeping you in balance. You trying to hide something. 
because you had a family, you don't want nobody to know? Like, what? Or you don't, somebody doesn't want you to know this prostitute got a family or this man for the streets or something. This man, They don't want you to know they're a warlock. For some of y'all, this pro, whoever this, this person for the streets, they are into magic and they do a lot of divination, okay? This person is feeling left out in the cold. They're doing divination right now to bring you back to them. I don't know. They're trying to bring you back to them, working, doing, bringing work, and somebody's worried because it's taking a long time or it's slow or it's not working. Somebody is like, they want, they questioning their skills. Somebody touching themselves. They're trying to use that energy to pull you back in to make things speed up some. Lord have mercy. This is too much. But as long as they stay connected with other energies... This, yeah, that shit is not going nowhere. Somebody needs to cleanse this um this promiscuous person. They need to cleanse because whoever you are, you're an earth angel. They trying to call something back in that's sky high. Like that's like calling, trying to call God. But bitch, you better have your life in order before you try to call God in your life. This is what this person's doing in a sense. You represent God, the Godhead in a sense. You are one with him. You are, you know body mind and spirit but you are high vibrational energy and this person is low and them a low vibrational trying to call it high vibrational ener energy in that's very promiscuous they need to cleanse honey they need to heal and somebody doesn't want to heal or they having a hard time healing or they think it's too hard to heal i don't know but somebody do want to change they trying to call you gemini Mm, so I get, I feel like you're not talking to whoever this energy is. One of y'all pulled away. Somebody misses somebody like crazy. Somebody is like, oh my God, I cannot believe. Like, I don't know. Somebody is trying to call you in sexually, but that shit don't look like it's going nowhere. So, um, yeah, Gemini, you strong as hell. You holding back from this energy and this card shouldn't even been in there. But this man or woman want to offer you the ace. They say, they look, they like you, my everything. I love you. You balance me out. I thought I was gay, but I'm really, I just love you. Okay? I love you. But this person, look, I, I can give to you for the rest of my life. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that, Gemini High Vibe. I don't know. Because, I mean, look, they all in their head about it, though. Giving to you and committing to you. So you shouldn't be so fucking stressed out about it. Why? Because he's really gay. Gemini, don't let nobody start fooling and bamboozling your ass. Talking about, I want to make a commit. Even if you know they buy, they really look. They they won't. They they need to work on the commitment with themselves before they work on a commitment with somebody else. Okay, because they are gay. Spirit say that's the truth. And this person could be a heavy drinker. They like to drink now. They just show and they all do. They like to throw back some drinks now, honey. What's going on with the tea, Holy Spirit? What's tell us about the tea? This person thinks you're out of this world. Like, you're everything. Like, I've never met anyone like you in my life. You balance me out. I've never met anyone that balances me out. I've dated, yeah, I'm a hoe. Okay, I do impulsive things in secret. I'm quick with it, and I pay for... So this person could pay for prostitutes, too, for some of y'all. They got the money to do it, okay? They pay for prosties. And um, what else, Holy Spirit? And this person could be jealous of your beauty. Please don't start that. Yeah, they jealous of your beauty and they want to slow you down. They think you're too beautiful. They don't want you to be with nobody. I'm hearing that song. You're way too beautiful, girl. It's why it'll never work. You have me ooh idol, ooh idol. If you say it's over, and somebody want to set up a thirst trap though. Hmm. Okay, spirit, what else? So, this person is, like I said, they a little cray-cray. Didn't I say cuckoo or something like that? What is this, spirit? Numbing. Somebody is indifferent. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys are different. Maybe there's a race, an ethnicity, a, a gender. I don't know, boo-boo. But there's some, some indifference between you guys. This person could be a habitual online dater. Okay. They're used to people putting them in on a pedestal because they got money. So this is a trick, a John, a something. I don't think it's a John. I think it's a person with money that lays down with prostitutes. You got you got with somebody that that it 
Stay for the streets, baby, okay? And you're avoiding them. Divine feminine. You got one of masculine who's for the streets and you're avoiding them. You avoided a crisis. You disassociated yourself from this person. Okay? Yeah, opposites attract, but for some reason you're 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 attracted to this person or this person's attracted to you. But regardless of the situation, somebody cut ties. Okay, and this person's pissed off that you cut ties with them. They weren't ready for you to cut that shit off because somebody feels like they got in too deep. They, their feelings, their emotions, the, how they feel. You, you, Divine Feminine, you're a healer. You are a flipping healer, baby. Just your pure essence is healing. Okay? Just your pure essence is healing. And it balances people out with this justice and two of pentacles. And you removing yourself causes heavy burdens. And they want you in their life because... The way you make them feel. The way you make me feel. The way you make me feel. My lonely days are gone. I don't like that. My lon I mean, ain't nobody's business. Ain't nobody's business but mine and my baby. So, I don't know if somebody's trying to keep you a secret, but somebody's trying to strategize how to get you back in the energy. This person do got mental. Didn't I say cray cray? Y'all, I'm not playing with y'all. Shit. And they got post-traumatic stress disorder. And then y'all ask cancels them out? Gemini. Oh, hell no. This person. How was this person? Ooh, they salty. Gemini, somebody is salty and bitter and agitated. Because they're like, bitch, how are you going to pull away from me when I'm so attracted to you? I love you. Mm, this is a male or a female. I'm picking up masculine energy, though. Okay, let's put it, this is, mm -mm, whoever this masculine energy is, I'm not lying. I'm telling you, they's a hoe. They put the streets. They're either the prostitute, they pick up prostitutes, or they're just very promiscuous. Take it how it goes. This Aquarius, the star, boy toy, cutting ties, tender swindler. So they're a heavily habitual online dater. Oh my God. And it's all smoking mirrors. Oh, child, this. This person could have an underlying health issue for being wild and reckless for the streets, y'all. Okay? This person could be a tyrant at times. Very evil, mean when things don't go their way. They show they show up angelic. But, honey, they got a lot of dark hidden secrets, Gemini. And they trying to escape, run away from their problems. And run straight to you to dump all that shit off on you for you to fix. And, Gemini, that's not, no. Mm -mm, that's not your responsibility. This person is a liar, unfortunately. Okay, they are, honey. They're a liar. So you got a liar that wants to take a leap of faith with you. They lying about their sexuality. They say you the one. I can balance things out with you. Okay. Um, and what else, spirit? That's that. I mean, that's what I'm getting. But whoever this energy is, they, they're toxic. They're a toxic person. Or they, mm, yeah. And they're very burdensome. This person does want to hold on to you or hold you down. or And I don't think hold you down, but they don't want to let you go. Because somebody feels like they got in too deep. Their feelings are in too deep for you to walk away. They're pissed off. And on top of it, they have some underlying health issues. So why are this person trying to rush back or trying to get force you to get with them? Or you Okay, what I'm getting from some of these readings is somebody wants to force themselves back. Okay, to you, to get you stuck with them. They have a secret underlying health issue. They're pissed off about it. And now here you come avoiding them, Gemini. You're not giving no attention or nothing. They want you to put their ass on a pedestal as they put you on the pedestal. But they have a secret, okay? And they, I feel like they will, they're willing to win at all costs. They're salty about something. And this is the object of sexual desire, this boy toy. Divine Feminine, they want you. This person will take it. I don't know. Look, just be be aware. This person do got mental issues. Okay? They want to take you to dinner. They want to wine and dine you. You might hold back. From, and you are currently holding back from this person. And they're heavily burdened. They got PTSD. Okay? And so, uh, just think two, three, four, five times. Now, this is not somebody that I feel like. I don't know. I feel this is recent for you, maybe. I don't know. You're not talking, so 
learn your lessons from the past. Once you let somebody go, let them go, baby. You did get some intuitive downloads from your ancestors. Archangel Michael was telling you to avoid this bitch. And possibly was giving you downloads and symptoms of that without them being on the down low. But I don't know if y'all how how deep y'all got. But you did walk away now. Before the shit got before the shit got too deep, you walked away from something. Look, you walked away before shit got in too deep because somebody had ended up or, or having an underlying health issue now. And that's a secret. Okay? They're not going to tell you that shit. Gemini? Mmm. But you did the right thing. So this is confirmation of you wanted to know by you ghosting a king of wands energy. Very uh, fiery. Very passionate. Very promiscuous energy. You did the right thing, Gemini. When you listened to the ancestors, you were obedient to the Most High. You brought your life to balance. It could be an Aquarius. It could be a Libra. It could be a Cancer. It could be any Zodiac sign. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Okay, heavy Libra up here. Heavy fire sign. Fool, the Aries, heavy Aries. And um, Gemini energy and Sagittarius. So that person could have them anywhere in their chart. But Archangel Michael came and balanced you and healed you out and caused you to hold back from this King of Wands energy. Even though, honey, it was hard for you too. This King of Wands is magnetic. Very sexy. Some type of appeal that's hard to resist. Um, they have an essence that just like... <sighs> yeah, they know. That's why they're the boy toy. Object and sexual desire. But the thing is, you did the right thing, Gemini. You stayed away from whoever this person is because they do they do move quick, honey, and they lie about it, too. They ain't going to tell you that I'm a hoe, but they a hoe, and you already know it. Your ancestors told you about this King of Wands. So you canceled them out because you're healing, and that's how God knows. By you cutting this person out, no matter how attracted that you were to this person, and you cut ties, that showed God that you were ready for the next phases of justice and balance in your life. So Gemini, you did the right thing. Okay. Okay. Fighting and slaying them damn demons that come smiling with all these pre these false pretenses and false I'm telling you, this they wanted to make you some type of beard. But like I said, for some reason you balance this person out. They like what they like. They like to get that, you know, but they like honey. They want to take a leap of faith with yell. Because that's what divine feminine energy do. It makes people want to take a leap of faith with them. Yeah. Your energy is so high vibrational. You cause all the demons, all the darkness to be attracted to the moth to the flame. As you burn by the fire. Love is blind. Can't you see my desire? That's the way love goes. And so therefore, you make everybody want to take a leap of faith with your ass. Divine masculine or divine feminine. But I feel like it's a feminine energy. And you avoided... A doozy, boo-boo. You did, Divine Feminine. You avoided a doozy. God wanted you to avoid this crisis. Because there is some type of underlying health issue. Oh, I'm so sick of this health issue, Lord. Y'all go get checked out. Okay, go to the clinics. Go to the doctors. Go get tested. Just please know your status. Don't be afraid. I'm a, I am just heard somebody else. They got an STD, an underlying health issue talking about... Don't be afraid of the way you feel. It's real love. Uh-uh. Hell no, that is not real love. That is trauma binding and post-traumatic stress syndrome, honey. And a risk taker. And they going through some type of karma because they don't know how to control themselves. But anyway, um, Gemini, that's been your reading. That was a channel message, so I hope this helps somebody. You did the right thing, baby, okay? Don't second guess or question your ancestors or your intuition, okay? I love you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.